of the pedal. Today we're looking at this amp. See this Friedman amp and it's got the light and knobsies and it's got 50 watts? I think so. And it's uh, one of the ultimate plexis out there that also has the BE channel that then can be all... Ah! We're looking at the pedal version of that. So a pedal voiced to be reminiscent of channel one of this amp as far as I know. I heard a dog bark. Who's got dogs? Who let the dogs in? Out? I don't know. So yeah, it's the small box pedal. There's a BE pedal, there's a, a BE Deluxe Mega pedal with two channels, there's a Dirty Shirley pedal. Uh, there are pedals, Dirty Shirley, that's this thing. There are pedals voiced to be reminiscent of the voicings of Dave's amps, and now the small box has a pedal. And it looks like this. Apparently it doesn't because Leslie is fighting with the dogs. And it looks like this. There you go. Leslie, are you alive? Um, <laughs> yeah. What's going on? The dog is fighting me. Noodle, come here. Say hi to the nice people. Noodle! Hello! Leave mommy alone. We, we, we're looking at a pedal. Yeah, no, no, it's not there. No, it's here. Play with your bone. There. No, no, no. no. Uh, he's coming back. So, the pedal. <laughs> um, whereas the BE is more pa pow and all that modded plexi over the topishness, this is more classic y, plexi, -y, small boxy. So, uh, we have game, and then there's a little structure arrow, as you can see. And that goes to this switch here, which is very dark, but okay. Yeah, that switch. Uh, it doesn't really do a lot. It doesn't do a lot. It doesn't do a lot. But right about here, it kicks it into that last bit of game that you might want for the screamy solos. We have bass, treble, and middle, which are all three of the good things you want from an EQ. Then there's a president switch, which is now finally good again. Uh, it's a presence knob. Get it, Biden. Uh, and um, there's volume, which makes the whole thing loud. So we're gonna see how well that does in lower gain, middle gain, and then how much gain it can do. We're gonna explore the EQ. We're going to then send it into a shit ton of amps. Because what this pedal's supposed to do, compared to the other Friedman pedals, except for the boost, is actually work well with an amp that's already driving a bit. And to begin with, for lower regainy sounds, we're gonna use, once Leslie makes the pedal smaller, thank you, um, this brand new PJD, I think it's a St. John, which my friend Jens dropped off yesterday. PJD, I, I love my PJD Carry Elite, and this is now the St. John shape, it's an offset shape, 
with a P90. Semi hollow roasted maple. It's a very, very nice guitar, uh, but it is a guitar that has some brightness to it. So later we're gonna check with the music man behind me as well. But that's nice. We're gonna start, of course, as always, with the Tone King Sky King down there. Uh, which is what you just heard. I'm gonna give you a couple of sounds of the guitar without the pedal so you can get the flavor because it has some sparkle and brightness. Okay, there you have it. We're gonna start with the P90. It's very nice. And we're gonna start all the way down there. That's actually rather nice. A little bit more volume. One of the things that is insane about the actual small box is its touch sensitivity. It reacts so well to your playing. It goes into this and then clean and really just by the touch of your picking hand. <laughs> you who don't watch the channel a lot. I'm of course going through um, well, the Tonking Sky King into the Ox with a 412 cream back loaded cab. That's the setup right now. Um, I like the cream back. Dave would like the green back, but Dave's not here so he can suck it! <laughs> It's pretty much the kind of pedal that most of the time just does, it delivers. It doesn't ever sound wrong. Oh, now it gets cha gong gong, cha cha gong, cha gong gong, cha gong gong. I'm having some buzz from the P90, but that with a little bit of delay from the sidekick. Okay, a little bit of reverb from the sidekick. Should be a really nice bluesy kind of tone.
need all the way on the game. That's just rock and roll. But you know the the Eddie kind of stuff where it's all sus four. It doesn't matter what you play; just sus four works. Um, pretty nifty. And now we can push it even one further. <laughs> Yeah, quite a bit of gain on tap, but not ridiculous. I'm gonna go back to the normal gain and see how the EQ behaves. Interestingly, both settings extremely cool. No bass is really cool on this. And that sounds like the big ass transistors on the big amps. Guitar way too uh, oh, no Let's compare that to the presence, which is more of a power amp high aim. They're clearly different and I cannot explain to you how or why, but they do different things, but both of them do treble. Huh? The treble might be a high mi mid kind of a thing, like a really high mid. And now mid.
it feels like when you push that mid all the way up, the whole frequency response changes and it kind of centers around that mid frequency and it becomes a different kind of sound. <laughs> Yeah, bass goes away, treble goes away, it's all mids now, which is kind of a cool function. It becomes a different beast, kind of cool. Okay, we're gonna go and now compare it to the actual amp, because I can do that. Which I haven't actually done. I've done none of this. Where is the actual amp? It is on four. <laughs> Let me check the settings. EQ is roughly centered. Uh, bass is a little bit higher on like one o'clock. Uh, gain is all the way up and bright is in. the amp. Damn close! More, more low end there, more thump. There's a lower mid-range hump in the real small box, but that's it. I mean, it's really not noticeable. And on the setting where the small box is right now, uh, the, the pedal has quite a bit more gain. Yeah, the pedal can do more gain, so let's go to the channel 2 of the small box. With gain on 3 o'clock. Small box is a bit louder, so we're gonna take that down. Thank <laughs> you. 
yeah, okay. Uh, obviously, the Tone King does its part in the sound sculpting, but it's pretty phenomenal how close we can get to the actual small box amp. Now we're gonna take that and a different guitar into different amps, and then we're done. The Dario Accelerate, if you want to go faster. I don't know. I'm not getting paid for this, but I get free Accelerate, so I guess that's payment in itself. It actually is payment because I'm getting paid a free product. Here we go. Of course, Music Man Y2D, Steve Morse. Of course. Of course, of course, Steve Morse. <laughs> Like this, and you play really fast, and you look like an idiot. Um, what setting do we take? Let's go. Let's go noon. Come on, why not? Okay, we're gonna go into the Bad Cat Cup 40, which is very boxish. And because it's Vox, it's got that brightness, so we can tame that. Ow! a slightly pumpy kind of a Vox, the AC20. That should have a little bit of drive on it already. Morgan AC20. It's really thick and it's saturated, it's fun. <laughs> yeah, that's a good combo. Um, let's go into the um, doesn't make sense, doesn't make sense. um artist 60, the Hampstead artist 60. Yeah, whatever that uh, uh, treble is set at, that's not something the out of 60 likes, so we get that down a bit. <laughs> I don't 
don't know what I'm doing there. So then we're gonna go, we had the turn king. The mini plexi could be really interesting. What do we have when we push a mini plexi from Marshall uh, with an even minier plexi from Friedman because it's a pedal? So that's my plexi sound right there from the mini plexi. All of a sudden, where, where's all the low end? Okay, that's fun. <laughs> that works pretty damn well in front of an amp that's already driving. Uh, and while we're at amps that are already driving, we go to the JCM 800, which is driving like so. What's up? What's up? Ah, this is fun. Okay, that's one hell of a sound. What about some more mids then? Some reverb. Marshall JCM 800 in the Freedom Small Box are our best friends. Oh, wow. Um, Rev D20. And then we have, and that's really the last, the orange rocker, but we always end up with the orange by itself. <laughs> rather nice. And back to the Tonking. So the question is, is this a low gain overdrive? That's the lowest gain it has. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it a low gain overdrive. 
Can you get lower gain sounds out of it? Yes, but I don't think that's generally its main purpose. Like a, like a clone would be, or uh, like a, a Mesner from Wars Audio, stuff like this. <laughs> Texas Twang from Pedal Pawn or so many other low gain overdrives. Fat B from um, uh, the B Trunks people. It does that nicely. But really, that's where it begins, and then you take it from there. You don't just leave it there. Um, that's it does a lot more. So big, and then we talk about. It. Damn, I don't, I don't have to say anything. Everything on that thing works. Works with many different amps. With a three-band EQ and a president's knob, um, you can easily adjust it to whatever the fuck you need. Uh, switch on the side gives you the extra punch really only in the higher levels of the gain knob, but that's fine, because why would it? Why would you want it to do something here? It doesn't make sense. You're like, more gain, more gain, more gain. Okay, and then now I need more. Okay, that makes sense. Screaming leads, absolutely. Um, fat rhythms, absolutely. Uh, kind of cool, super mid-focused things there, absolutely. Uh, a really cool kind of a thin sound when the bass is dialed down. Really usable and really cool. This is, for me, the BOD. It's kind of a one-trick pony. Give me the modded plexi thing. This does a lot more, uh, especially with the flexible EQ section. That switch, okay, that does one thing at the very end. But you can use it by itself to get a multitude of Marshall-y kind of sounds. Should we call them friedman -y kind of sounds? Probably. friedman -y kind of sounds. You know what I'm talking about. And uh, then you can push your amp with it, which works extremely well. And the other pedals aren't necessarily designed to do that other than the boost. And this is. So there's a lot to be discovered with the Friedman small box pedal. And no, I'm not paid to say that. I'm paid to make the video. I'm not paid to say that it's a good pedal. Because if they tried that, they can fuck off. Other companies have tried, and I told them to fuck off. I have, trust me. Big companies have tried. If you don't trust me, don't watch the channel. Really, that's all I can say. Um, this is good. I don't know how much this is. What, 229, 249, 189? I literally don't know. Somewhere in that vicinity, it's recommended. Of course, if you have the right amp to put it into. Um, it does sound damn close to the small box, because it, it says small box on it. Uh, Dave knows his own amp, who would have thought? What a brilliant man, he knows what he's built. Love you, Dave. Um, yeah, get it, links below. Uh, and um, thanks for watching. Support me on all the socials and all that stuff, because that makes me happy and feeds the dogs. And talking about dogs, there are animals at the end.